On January 17th, the community gathered inside the Crumpton Firehouse to meet with State Highway Administration officials, law enforcement, and Queens County Commissioners to discuss the intersection of State Routes 544 and 290. The blinking yellow and red lights that hang over the intersection are now a reminder for a community that more needs to be done to increase highway safety. In November of 2018, Samantha Coleman of Galena, Maryland, became the sixth fatality at the 544-290 crossing. Crumpton residents and surrounding citizens are now looking to replace the blinking lights with a solid red light. Kenneth Fender, the district engineer of the State Highway Administration, was the first to speak. Uh, we are in the process of making it an always stop, uh, which includes doing some additional pavement markings out there. If you put, change it over to a four-way stop, you're going to have everybody coming through the intersection a lot slower. The decision was based on volume. From a traffic engineering perspective, they have to meet certain criteria traveling through the intersection. However, the public was allowed to respond. They expressed the opinion that perhaps more studies should be done during busier times. I was surprised for it to be a nasty day, cold day, um, a Sunday, as to how much traffic was actually going through that light. Um, I was even shocked more to see how many people were doing rolling stops. They come up there, they slow up, they don't stop. Numerous people out of state, Delaware cars, it's, you know, they're coming off the 301, 544. I mean, it's just a very, it is a high volume little place. Fender informed the room they would in fact go forward with the always stop while doing further studies based on dates and times determined by the community to conduct further traffic studies. While keeping options open, SHA will continue to increase safety at the problematic intersection.